All right, what's going on guys? It's been a busy week with work and everything, but I'm actually gonna take a closer look at this car. I already got the hood popped and I'm about to take out the first spark plug right now because this thing does not really run that great. And that's pretty black. So I'm gonna replace those. Let me turn on the flash here. There's a bunch of oil down there. It is pretty nasty looking down there. It's not terrible. Um, I think these plugs are probably gonna be the main issue. So I'm gonna get new plugs. Um, the cat is apparently cut out. So let me see if I can show you guys this. The cat is, I guess, cut out. As you can see, there's like some like soda can with hose clamps or something like holding the two pieces together right there and there. So he gave me a mid pipe, I guess it's in the trunk. And uh, I guess I'm gonna have to weld it because the flanges for the cat are cut off as well. So that's gonna suck. Um, I also realize these wheels are end keys, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I said that already, but they're end keys. So at least they're like real wheels. All right, so got the plug here. Um, like I showed you guys, it's pretty nasty. I don't even know if these are the right plugs, Bosch R6s. Um, I know it's gapped wrong though. I just checked it and it's 45. It should be 39 at most stock, I guess, for a 1.6. So I'm actually gonna turn it down to like 37 just because I just want it to run good and uh, you know, I don't want spark blow out. So um, I'm gonna gap all these and then see if it runs a little better uh, with the smaller gap. All right, so um, I just gapped the first one. I'm going to gap the rest. But I did notice these wires are not stock, and they feel kind of shitty. I think I have a spare pair of 1.8. I'm not sure if they're the same. If they are, I'm just going to put them on. Um, I see some RTV in the holes, too. So it looks like he must have replaced the valve cover gasket. I love cars getting a car like this where it's just like some easy shit, and you just fix it. Like, it's just so fun to work on, especially Miatas. They're, they're so fun. Definitely recommend getting a cheap project car if you guys want to learn more about cars and stuff just doing stuff like this is super fun this thing was sitting for a while though so it could definitely just be the gas i also thought maybe the injectors could be plugged i have about four sets of stock miatas but they're all 1.8 so i don't know if that's going to work either this is actually my like fifth or sixth miata or something and it is actually my first 1.6 i've always had 1.8s so i'm learning um some different shit in the engine bay um like I've never actually worked on a 1.6. and it's pretty much exactly the same, but you know, like the cast is on that side, little weird shit. And it's really so weird seeing this entire bay filled because my turbo car, there's literally none of this shit. This has power steering, all the emission shit, AC, everything still. Oh yeah, guys, side note, this thing just came in the mail. I got the hard top spoiler. Um, this thing looks pretty freaking mint. It's not on there at all. I just have the tape on because I'm not going to put it on until I uh, paint this because, you know, I got to sand under here and stuff, but looks pretty sick. The Miatas with hard tops like that. Oh my God. It just, the car looks so much cooler. When that thing is white, this thing is going to look so good. So today I'm going to be starting to paint my, this, uh, roof right here. I'm going to sand it down. I'm not going to go too far. I'm not going to leave a lot of the red on here just so, uh, it's even and stuff. I don't want to go down to the fiberglass. Some of these spots, I'm going to do a little bit, sand a little bit more just so they're smoother. I'm going to primer it and then uh, get the white paint for this. But first, we're going to have to move all this shit out of the garage because I'm going to paint it in here because it's like rainy today. All right, so just sanded the hard top a little bit. Um, Got to primer it and stuff. So I'm going to get the paint. My color code is uh, PT. It's the Mazda white. So I'm going to go grab like three or four cans of that. I think they're like 40 bucks each. And then um, I got to grab primer too. So I'll grab that at the place because I don't want to make two trips. So I'm going to go grab the paint and everything and uh, take it off the car, get it ready. I already sanded it a lot. I taped around the rear window. I just got to cover it and I got to tape the rubber seals. A lot of little odds and ends here and there, but um. It's coming along good. It's already a lot more smooth. Those spots where there's no paint, it was just straight fiberglass. I smoothed that a lot. It's probably not gonna be perfect because I'm just spray painting it, honestly, with just my color code, but it's gonna look a hundred times better than that shitty red, whatever it is. So I'm uh, gonna go grab some paint and we'll be back here in no time. Just went to Levine, got three cans of my mazda pt match perfectly and one can of primer is like 115 bucks hopefully it's not junk all 
All right, so here's what we're working with right now. All this stuff is completely smooth. Um, I know you can't really tell on camera, but I made sure I did the whole roof in I think 600 and then in all these little spots, I did 320. But all these spots are smooth now. Yesterday they were really bad. Obviously I'm gonna take the hard top off the car when I paint it, but it's just easier on the car to sand it. All right, here it is fully um, covered. Got the whole back window done, the clips, all of this rubber seals on the front, on the sides. I did it like double wide too, just so I don't get any overspray in there. And I'm gonna be holding a piece of cardboard when I do it. The only thing I didn't do is this little rubber um, trim down here, but it's kind of falling off anyways. And uh, if, it, if I don't like it, I probably won't even notice it, but if I don't like it, I could just throw in a new one. All right, the thing is uh, fully masked off, as you can tell here. Um, I'm gonna be starting off with some, uh, right here, some tool and primer. So it's not gonna be anything crazy. I'm also gonna do a couple layers of this and sand it, make sure it's really perfect before I put on the real Mazda paint. All right, guys, first thing is done. Here we go, we got, use the whole primer can. I, I did about three different coats, maybe even more. I waited some time, but pretty good coverage. Main thing was just to get these areas right here. I'm gonna sand them down and smooth everything out. Um, it, it started to shoot a little bit of uh, speckles at the end, so I'm gonna have to go over that a little bit with some fine grit, but it already, even with this like just crappy, the primer, it already looks so much better just being white and not like that shit, like red tan fade shit. All right, first layer of paint is on. Um, it's looking pretty good in some spots. Definitely needs a lot more coverage. Obviously this is just the first coat, didn't want to go crazy. But some of these spots are a little worrisome, like right here. I know it's not gonna be perfect because obviously there was some paint missing where the fiberglass was, just bare fiberglass. Stuff like this though is a little worrying. I, I think I'm gonna sand that before I do another coat um, just cause that's kind of weird. That's like one of the really only ones right there too, as you could tell. But for the most part, like the spots over here and stuff and the spots on the top blended really good. It was just these rear ones that kind of got a little weird. All right, guys. So here it is fully painted. It didn't come out perfectly, but it actually does match the car pretty, pretty good. As you can tell right there. Um, about to put on the rear spoiler, but from like five, 10 feet away right here, it looks pretty mint. Up close, obviously there's some imperfections it's gonna be hard to tell. All right, just got the roof wing here installed. Just put uh, some 3M adhesion down first on all the seals. They gave me it with the uh, spoiler, which is surprising. This little primer here. So I put that on all the 3M, on all the rubber seals and everything. Double layered it and actually used real 3M because they give you like some Chinese shit. So I used that for one layer and then the actual layer that really holds it, I used thick 3M like this i want to use the whole roll but it's on there really sturdy now and it looks super good honestly i'm stoked with the way that this came out all right so this is the final product here roof spoiler on it looks pretty freaking mint it's a good shot right there can't complain for what it used to look like so uh, yeah, that's painting my hard top. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. We're going to autocross tomorrow. I'm taking the white Miata. We're taking this red Miata right in there. It's a stock 1.6, that Mach 1, and the trailer is loaded up. So see this thing at Lime Rock Park soon.